In today's project, we're going to be upgrading our front brake pads to the EBC brakes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the ABS sensor cable. And this clip, you just slide it and pull. It's going to release. This is the clip right here and the cable. That way, when we remove the caliper, this isn't going to get in the way. Next thing we're going to do is take off the reservoir cover. The reason why we take off the reservoir cover is to see the brake fluid level in there because once we push the caliper pistons in, that is going to push the brake fluid back into the reservoir. So we want to make sure that there's enough space so that it doesn't leak all over the place. You see where the level is? Put this somewhere safe on a paper towel so that it doesn't get contaminated. Next, we're going to remove the caliper bolt and it is a 14 millimeter socket. We need to change these per the owner's manual to new ones. Next, we're going to remove the caliper off the disc. Be careful not to scratch up your rim. And there you go. As you can see, these are quite dirty relative to the ones in the rear because most of the braking power is done with the front uh, brakes. And as you can see, there's a lot of brake dust over here and uh, grime. So we do need to clean, especially the pistons over here. You see how the pistons are actually pushed out? One, two, three, and four. What we need to do is we need to separate them by using a pry tool and work them so that you can push the pistons back in and that is going to push the level of the brake fluid and the reservoir higher that's why we remove the cover and we check the level see how there's a bigger gap now next we're going to remove the actual pads themselves First one you're going to remove is on this side, so away from the bolt holes, and you're going to push it in this fa in this fashion, and in the rear you see you can push it in this way. And then you just pull it out. Same thing for the other one. We also want to make sure that we secure the caliper. Don't let it hang freely with the actual brake hose because it is heavy and you risk damaging the hose. So make sure that you secure it. Put a carabiner, put a rope, now it's time to clean the caliper on the inside. And uh, these are the areas that you want to pay attention to. These are the pistons. You have one, two, three, and four. And you also want to clean up the springs over here. This whole area, you want to make sure that it's free from debris because these pistons move. And this is what presses the brake pads together.
You also want to clean the disc to remove all the dirt. on both sides. Remove the backing plate off the old pads. Clean them so that we can use them on the new ones. This is the backing plate and it goes on like that. Okay, it's time to install the new brake pads. So we're gonna start off with this side. So it's in reverse of how we take them off. Start off with the side where the bolts are and you're going to be pushing it in the middle all the way down. And then we're gonna be sliding it over to its final position, which is this way. Now there is a spring in the rear that you're going to have to compress a little bit and you can use your finger on the other side try to help you. And the brake pad is in position. Make sure that it's seated correctly. Double check the back. Okay, now it's time to install the second one. Now the brake pads are installed. Now it's time to install the cover for the brake fluid reservoir. And this is the gasket that's gonna fit. You see how the level rose a little bit? And uh, The level is going to go back down again once we apply the brakes, but we, would, we don't want to touch the brakes now because we want the pads to be separate so that it can go over the actual disc. Now it's time to install the caliper. See how that there's a gap right here because we compressed the pistons. This is going to give us the clearance we need for the brake pads to clear the disc. Make sure you watch your rim as you're reinstalling. Now it's time to install the new bolts. Now it's time to torque the bolts down, it's going to be 33 foot-pounds. We need to reinstall the ABS sensor cable clip. Now we have to test it for proper function you will need to apply the front brake several times to build up the pressure to push the pistons back in. Don't be alarmed, it's gonna take uh, probably four or five pulls until it pushes the pistons back in and you're gonna feel the pressure back on the, on the bars. The next thing we have to do is we have to uh, do the bed in process, which takes about 200 miles or so. After the bed in process, I will do a review video on my thoughts.